Hey, up from Road Racing DP here, and it's time for the open wheel class of cars wheel settings uh, in the series of videos that I'm doing. I have covered road cars, touring cars, GT cars, prototypes, and now it's the turn of the open wheelers. Now these settings that I'm going to be applying to the cars are from uh, Jack Spade's workings. He has four different classes of uh, settings you can use. I've gone with a 66% SOP lateral settings. Now that may sound confusing and trust me it is a little bit which is why I'm making these videos. So what I'm going to do, just quickly show you, if you are using a wheel, these settings should work for all wheels on uh, PS4, Xbox and PC, although I can't guarantee the PC and Xbox ones, I don't use them so I can't test them myself, but I have been informed that yes, they, they do work. Okay, for so if you're using a wheel, personally I'm on Thrustmaster T300, but the settings should all be the same. Uh, make sure you go into options, options and help, go into controls and calibrate your force feedback. And this is the first thing you do. Put your tyre force at 100 and if you like you can match up the rest of these particular settings. Feel free to take a screenshot of that. But also in configuration, make sure you set these as these are. But most importantly, the force feedback, set that at 100%. Now, if you do find that uh, using, while well, using your wheel, uh, it is very, very heavy for you, tire force, knock that down a little bit. Um, that basically is however hard your tires are working, you'll feel it through the wheel. So if your wheel is very, very heavy, reduce the tire force a little bit. Now those settings without the rest of the settings I'm about to show you will mean that your wheel will be heavy so make sure you do apply the other settings. Now me personally I have gone through all of the cars now applying all of the setups so that I can show these videos. It's up to you if you do it that way as well or whether you just do it whenever you use the cars. Um, either way works but obviously if you uh, forget to apply the settings um, you may be a little frustrated it has taken me probably a couple of hours to get all of the setups onto the cars so you, it depends on whether you're that patient um, but obviously hopefully me doing these videos will at least help you out to uh, go through them as quick as possible okay then into the open wheel class obviously that car on the screen is not an open wheeler that is so into the formula A's then now I'm going to go to edit current setup because I've already applied the settings to the cars to all of the tracks you probably are going to need to go into create new setup so I'll go into edit new setup and I shall show you the force feedback settings so feel free from now on to pause uh, and screenshot the settings for each of the cars because I am going to go through them quite quick. So here on the left of the settings for the Formula A, take your pictures and then onto the body and SOP and there's the settings for that car. Now like I say these settings you will need to use in conjunction with having tyre force and force feedback up at 100%. Once you have applied it to the car here, press X to save and save it to all of the circuits then you've got a baseline for that car at all of the tracks but you are still going to need to work on the individual car setups for each individual track perhaps very frustrating but it's the only way and best way to do it really uh, because at the end of the day a setup for a uh, car setup for one track not necessarily going to work at another but this is these settings are to do with how your wheel feels in your hands okay so the formula b i do like these formula b's i'm not a big fan of, fan of the formula race although i am a big fan of formula one okay so the settings then for the formula b and into the body and sop and there's the settings for that car now on to the Formula C. The Formula C's I do find to be very, very enjoyable cars to drive. There's no messing about with sort of electronics, cars and DRS, it's just the car, the setup, the driver, go. Uh, makes for very, very good racing. Okay, so the Formula C settings, here we go again. And as I've mentioned on some of my other videos, a lot of these settings do differ quite a lot from class to class and even car to car within each class some of them are very similar uh, so you may find it a little bit repetitive sorting these out but if you just 
take for example the formula c settings and put them on the formula a and the formula b not necessarily going to work okay so there's the settings for the formula c and we'll go on to the next car which i believe is the formula rookie on this list i haven't driven this car very much to be honest but again it's uh it is a, quite an interesting car to drive but i have noticed um a few certain input users are able to just throw these about floor it absolutely everywhere on a wheel it has seemed a bit more tricky although i haven't driven it with these particular settings on yet um and okay i'm not showing you what effect these settings are having for a simple time saver um <coughs> but i have on live streams um taken cars two tracks without any of the setup changes done and then done the setup changes and shown the improvement uh, so these settings changes and shown the improvement it has made um also while doing a formula a time trial i pretty much reached what i thought was a limit of my capability i then remembered i hadn't applied these settings to the car so i did that and found another half a second easy and i was left well i ran out of time for what i was wanting to do but i was left thinking okay there's still more time at that track to find instead of okay i've reached the limit so it does make quite a difference okay onto the formula golf 1000 then i do like these cars not a lot of power not very fast but handle very very nice and are capable of having very very good uh, close battles so the settings then for this car here you go take your pictures and we shall move then on to the classic open wheelers and these particular cars the settings definitely change a lot in here compared to the other open wheelers so the lotus 49 cosworth an absolute animal of a car to drive mainly because it just feels like it's got hardly any grip um, some of that is going to be down to downforce but also some of it could be down to the what you're feeling on the wheel so hopefully these will help so here are the settings for the 49 cosworth you'll see that some of them are very very different to some of the previous ones now the fx smoothing for most cars is on 20 but for some of these classic cars it's on 30. okay onto the second screen of settings so like i say make sure you do apply these settings because it will make a big difference to what you feel and if you don't get on with this particular set of uh, settings it's possible that one of the other three uh, settings available um may be more beneficial to you but these particular settings tend to give you a good feel of what the rear end of the car is doing um so that you can react accordingly if need be okay so the lotus 72d here's your settings for this car I must admit, I'm glad that I have now managed to get through all of the cars uh, and applied all of these settings because it, it can make such a difference, as can um, just general setup on a car. Um, I mean, I, I know a few pad users at the moment who, who feel they could batter me in races. Well, I tend to find, and I have found over the last few years, that you compare a pad user to a wheel user, a pad user can tend to pick up the game, turn it on, and go pretty quick straight away a wheel user has to go through all this stuff work out how to drive the cars work out the muscle memory per car per track and it takes a bit of time but it's much more enjoyable and uh, i tend to think because of what you can actually feel you can get more out of a game and you can get more lap time just because racing games really should be used with a wheel <laughs> um so you pad users go buy a wheel <laughs> so, there we go so, arguments begin right okay onto the 78 cosworth then take your pictures for the settings of this one so there we go and now we're on to i think it's the final car it is the lotus 98t renault turbo 
fantastic car to drive this I was surprised at how much grip this car actually has uh, I took it for a, a test drive around the Nordschleifer for and absolutely loved it. I ended up going and doing a race there uh, against the AI cars. I enjoyed it so much. Uh, but there we go. Okay, so the settings then for the Lotus 90 Apply these. Let's see how much it'll help you. Okay, so that uh, brings us to the end of the uh, end of the uh, video for the open wheelers. On the next video, it'll be the last one that I have to do and that'll be for the American stock series car there's only one of them and the go cars so if you have found these available don't forget I have covered already the road cars the touring cars the GT class cars and the prototype cars uh, all on separate videos now we've done the open wheelers and we'll get down to the last two classes on one video together so if you have found this has helped great uh, so all that's left to say is i've been front row racing dp thanks for watching and i hope this has helped